on the G-Series pump to change the diaphragm behind the six head bolts. And we will start there and then after we're done with the diaphragm oil seal I will show you the check valve parts. A uh, half inch wrench will take the head off. Behind the head is your diaphragm, consists of three parts, the cap nut, the Teflon diaphragm, and behind that is a stainless backing nut. <clears throat> Break the nut loose. takes out the diaphragm the backing plate that gets you to your oil seal. We will go to that next. If you need to replace the oil seal, there's four small screws holding an aluminum ring on the outside, one retaining ring holding a small aluminum ring on the inside. Once you get the screws off, the entire oil seal will pull out. <clears throat> Usually if there is a problem with the oil seal, you will have oil dripping out through a weep hole, so you know it needs to be replaced. If you have a problem with the diaphragm, you will have fertilizer dripping out through this weep hole. To replace it, your new or oil seal slips over the shaft, just line up your holes on the outside ring.
before tightening them down just wiggle the shaft just a bit to make sure that the outside edge is setting in the groove A replacement diaphragm is available as just the diaphragm itself or as the entire assembly. If you are replacing the entire assembly, the nut will thread right into the shaft that's already there. The spacer has one beveled edge and one flat edge. Make sure the flat edge goes against the pump housing and the bevel on your diaphragm will fit into the bevel on that spacer. Get the inside clamp on my oil seal. <clears throat> Holding the spacer in place, I'm going to thread the new assembly in. Before we bolt the head on, we need to make sure that there is no gap between the diaphragm and the spacer. To do that, we need to turn the shaft all the way in, and we'll take the motor cover off and just spin the fan. As I begin turning, you can see that it is moving back and forth. We are set at a low percentage, so there isn't much movement. If I turn that knob out farther, you will see much more movement between the two. When the cap is tucked all the way in tight, that's where we want to bolt the head on. If it is out, leaving a gap, and we bolt the head on, it will roll the outside edge of that Teflon diaphragm and crimp in the wrong place. So always make sure it's all the way in tight before we bolt the head in place. As we tighten the head bolts, we don't want to take one of them all the way in and then start on another. That will tilt the head. We want to bring in all six of them until they're all snug touching. Once they're all touching, then we can tighten down.
For the check valves, suction and discharge checks are both the same. They have a gray union nut holding a union end in place. On the discharge is usually a half inch. On the suction is a three quarter inch. <clears throat> that union end seals tight on an o-ring. The threads do not actually seal. To change a check valve, unthread from the head. The bottom side has a ball and a seat. All of these check valves are gravity seat, so when they're installed, the ball needs to be to the bottom side. An RPM kit would include two O-rings, one for each side of the check valve. May need a scribe hook to get that one out. <clears throat> the kit would also include a new seat and a new ball. To get the ball out, it is a pressed in fitting, a small punch, put in the outside triangles, opposite sides, and tapping. This one came out fairly easy. Sometimes you will need to tap them. The seat will have one beveled edge and one flat edge. The ball always sets on the flat edge. The beveled edge has a recessed area to hold the o-ring in place. With your new ball and seat, reusing the same housing, you would drop the ball in place, push the seat in, Set your O-ring on the seat end. Rethread into the head and also replace the O-ring on the top side. And put the union end and union nut back on. Tools needed for repair on a G-pump would be an 11 16 wrench for the oil drain plug, a 9 16 wrench if you needed to replace the motor, a half inch wrench or ratchet for the head bolts, a large crescent wrench to break loose the cap nut on the diaphragm assembly, small pair of uh, snap ring pliers for the oil seal, a small straight screwdriver for the oil seal, your small punch for changing the ball and seat. Uh, possibly may need a pair of channel locks if the diaf or check valve was over tightened but they should not need to be tightened other than hand tight. Union nut and check valve seal only with the O-ring, so they do not need to be tightened. If you have a leak, you need to replace the O-ring rather than tighten the check valve tighter. <laughs>